Welcome back friends. We're doing an easy camping breakfast. Try to keep as least amount of things that need to be cold as possible. So we got a pound of Bob Evans sausage, half a carton of liquid eggs here. Still made plenty, probably enough for four or five people this breakfast. And maybe six or seven if you got kids. And here's one red onion, one green pepper, and about half of a red pepper diced up. So then I got some Mexican cheese because we're getting a uh, little kind of tacos out of these. This is super easy. Like I said, I didn't want to have as much stuff that needed to be refrigerated because you're camping and like, you know, you barely got enough room. You got one cooler for beer. Then you got your second cooler, you know, which is your backup beer. And after that, you don't have room for much food. So that's why we're using canned potatoes there. Don't even need a can opener. Just pop the top off. Normally I'm not a canned potato fan, but we're using them. Blackstone breakfast blend. This is all you need for seasoning. No salt and pepper. Some tortillas, like I said, we're gonna make these into tacos slash like little burritos, breakfast burritos. And then there is some chipotle Tabasco. You could use salsa too for this if you want. Everything fits back in this cooler. Look at it go in there double time. Right in my little Playmate cooler from the 80s. It's probably older than me. Found this in my dad's basement. That's all you need, man. And we'll put a little bit of oil down on our preheated griddle. We have it on medium low which gets us to about 375, 400 degrees for this cook. Down goes the one pound of sausage. I chop it up with my spatula. I'm only using one spatula for this cook. Again, pretending like we're out camping. You don't want to bring a bunch of utensils, so I just want to show you you can do it with one spatula. There goes our two cans of the Yukon Gold canned potatoes. I mean, these are already par-cooked, and so they turn out real good. Um, I, I would recommend them, definitely, if you're just trying to make things easy. They're never going to be as good as fresh, but they're good. Next goes down our veggies, and then the Blackstone Breakfast Blend. I'm putting that just on everything. Sausage, potatoes, veggies, generously seasoning it. If you never tried this, it's a real good all-purpose breakfast blend that Blackstone makes. So I'd highly recommend it. Coat everything up. Then we're going to go ahead and take our spatula and just give the potatoes a toss, you know, so we get plenty of seasoning on there. Look at that griddle, folks. Mmm, colorful, delicious. I'm going to turn the right burner off. I always do this on my cooks. I cut off one of the burners just for a warming zone. I'll probably throw the tortillas down there later. Then we're going to go ahead and chop up this sausage. Let's do it. And once your sausage is cooked all the way through, looks like this, without any pink in it, you're good to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a look at our veggies here. We're going to start kind of mixing stuff together. I just put a little bit in with the sausage, then put the rest in with the potatoes. You could mix all this together if you want, just the meat and the potatoes and then pour the eggs in. I kept the potatoes and the veggies kind of separate in case somebody didn't want a burrito or a little breakfast taco. And, if they just wanted potatoes or something. So I kept it separate. There goes the tortillas down on that warmer that is off. Remember the far right burner is off. I'm gonna warm those up and here's our egg beaters. Again, normally I'd use real eggs. This is camping, these are super convenient. So there wasn't as much uh, grease from the sausage as I anticipated, so I had to put down a little bit more oil. I did get some sticking, not the end of the world. Still turned out good. So we'll pour all of these egg beaters in and once we get them in you're just going to kind of let them set up and cook in with the sausage. This isn't the prettiest breakfast it's just like a scramble or hash kind of. It's pretty similar to the sausage scramble. I'll put that in the cards that I've done before that's real plain except for this one's spiced up a little bit and you just kind of mix it all together and make a little mess out of it. it certainly is not fancy. Tortillas, you don't want them to burn, so that's why I put them on my little rack there. Love the little wire rack. It's definitely better than my big. I don't even think I've used my big wire rack in a long time, so I uh, highly recommend getting a little one. I have them down in the links in the description. There goes some of that Mexican cheese. Obviously, whatever cheese you want is fine. Also, normally if you've seen my videos, I say grate your cheese fresh because they put some weird chemicals on the pre-shredded cheese. And I do firmly believe that if you start grating your cheese, you'll love the results, but this is camping. So that's what it looks like, man. Got some cheese on it with the potatoes, lots of color. 
Got our little tortillas coming out. Man, these turned out great. So now we're just gonna build these up kind of like they do at McDonald's. See how I fold it up there if you're curious. And then we put all of them together and you got yourself a nice, delicious camping breakfast. Put some Tabasco or salsa in there. If you wanna see another great hash, click the video on your screen now. I think I'll start my diet next week. Thank you for watching and keep on griddling.